Newsmax host Greg Kelly is concerned. He is, he's really concerned about the brutality that civilians in Ukraine are facing with this Russian invasion. But it's just, there's a problem. There's one thing that he's a little more concerned with. Let's hear what he has to say. Absolutely horrible what's happening over there. It looks like, it reminds me actually of Full Metal Jacket, the Vietnam movie. I mean, look at this, this is urban combat. This is Kharkiv, we see the video here. I haven't seen anything like this really outside of, well, I saw something of it in Iraq, but really the movies, <laughs> World War II, this level of destruction, this is wild, this is heartbreaking. I wish we could do more. I do know, and you probably do too, you know in your gut that this would not be happening if Donald Trump were still president. Now, I may feel a tinge of guilt complaining about the situation in America with what they're going through over there, but uh, as much as my heart breaks, I am deeply concerned about the situation in this country. People paying ridiculous amounts for gas. I filled up my car the other day, almost ninety dollars. I did his teleprompter break, and he had no idea what to no, say. No, that was people, insane. Like. They don't actually care about the loss of human lives. Mm -hmm. They've proven that in so many contexts. And this is just another example where it's mm -hmm. like, like how out of touch do you have to be? Like, by the way, you want to complain about the gas prices, I get it, fine. But like, do that in a separate segment to like put that all together to show your audience. All of that imagery of destruction, mm -hmm. of pain and suffering, and be like, you know, as much as I'm concerned about all of this, I mean, it is concerning, right? But can we just talk about gas prices? Yeah. That's what I'm really worried about. It is amazing. Well, and honestly, it's the linking of the two weirdly that makes it so uncomfortable. Talk about how bad it is for the civilians. Yes. You can also talk about the gas. We're gonna talk about many things. We don't rank them. We don't right. needlessly imply, oh, I am feeling guilt though. But just talk about the things that you care about, you weirdo. So weird. And and then there were a lot of added weird things. First of all, if you are gonna complain about gas prices, can we complain about the price of gas and stop having people talk about how much it took to fill up their gas tank? That's all a decision you made about the size of the tank you want. If the price of milk goes up, we complain about the gallon. I don't talk about hundred dollar milk baths. Don't take them. That's a weird thing to do. Like the the, the, the politician who was showing a two hundred dollar fill up. You chose the car, the truck, honestly, totally. with the largest tank. My little Cyan IQ doesn't cost as much to fill up. Price of gas is the same though. But anyway, that's and a really good point. It, Can look. Can I just comment on of that? Course, and, yeah. and don't lose your thought because I want to hear what else you have to say. Um, today, Honda Civic was mm -hmm. trending. I saw that. I felt really good about it because I have a Honda Civic. <laughs> sure. I mean, there are plenty of fuel efficient vehicles if you're going to limit yourself to internal combustion, which I, you should not. I never, I never have anything that people want. <laughs> so it felt good well. to know I have something that people want, okay? I'm so happy I bought that used Honda Civic and it is. Honda Civics are bomb. I love mm -hmm. them. They're zip, zippity doo dah. They do what they do. <laughs> Point A to point B. Feel they zoom, efficient. zoom, zoom. I hear in the commercials. You could drive no. them for years and years and years. It's a dependable car. I'm not paid by Honda. I promise you that. I'm just really happy yeah. that I have a Civic. Yeah, I like it. They need to take electric cars way more seriously than they have up until this point. But all um, right. But that's fine. Uh, and okay, so the thing is, Greg Kelly scrambling to put together something approaching empathy. It's like Mark Zuckerberg trying to smile based on one time he saw a person smile. He can't nail it. Greg Kelly and conservative pundits are not well set up to demonstrate empathy. Yeah, but the fact that he's trying to actually makes me feel a little bit better. It implies that they get that they were wrong. They would have loved to have just ignored this or, or talked about why what Putin is doing is totally defensible. What they're demonstrating with this awkward like gesticulations they do every night on their shows is that they get that people agree with us. War's bad, invasions are bad, specifically targeting civilians, committing war crimes, all bad. And lurking in the background, I think they're afraid that people will come out of this conflict wanting to apply these lessons to other conflicts, perhaps that we ourselves get involved in. I consider all of this to be good news. Wow, wow, you are in a mood that I did not expect. It's good, it's good that you're able to see like some positivity out of this insanity, because mm -hmm. I, I don't see it. 
I mean, look, the United States is is currently involved in other conflicts where we're teamed up with the bad guys, right? And there's no, the thing that's so frustrating is that there's like no coverage of that. Luckily, there has been more and more criticism of our like endless, uh, unwavering support for the Israeli government, regardless of what they do to the Palestinians. Mm -hmm. I like seeing that there's an increasing amount of coverage on that issue. But still, there's really no coverage on Yemen and- He said, we saw a little bit of it in Iraq, but but no, other than that, it's it's really full metal jacket. Jesus Christ, this guy is supposed to be a serious newsman. He's wearing a suit, he's in a set. He has no idea how to talk about some of the most consequential events happening around the world. Well, I mean, he did make uh, an important point there about how this would not have happened if it were for Donald Trump. He just, oh, they have to say that. They don't believe it. They don't Donald mean Trump it. would just like, Donald Trump withheld military aid illegally, by the way. Money that was appropriated by Congress, he withheld it. When it was supposed to go to Ukraine because he wanted Zelensky to announce a sham investigation into his political rival, Joe Biden. That's who Trump is. Mm -hmm. Trump would have exploited this situation for mm -hmm. his own means. Zelensky, very weak, don't like his speeches, they take the attention from me. He said that Ukraine meddled in our elections. I don't. I, come on. Come These on, are not guys. serious people. Yeah, but they're not serious people.